Hogwarts Legacy. As you guys well know, I am a massive Harry Potter fan. Massive Harry Potter fan. I actually think I'm in the fifth, fourth. I'm in the fourth book. There's a part where I am mentioned, specifically in the fourth book. I ask Harry to the Yule Ball and he tells me no. And to his horror, a fifth year who looked like she might knock him out if he refused. Quite good looking though, Ron said. She was a foot taller than me. Imagine what I'd look like trying to dance with her. That's me! <laughs> As you guys may or may not know, I've kind of started gaming. Well, I've started Astro's Playroom. But Hogwarts Legacy is one of the games that like draws me a little. I think, ooh, maybe, maybe that one. So I wanted to watch some game trailers from that. But also, a very quick thank you to G2A.com for sponsoring this video. Right now, G2A.com is hosting a contest to win a trip to Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida and visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And you win the entire trip, flight, hotel, and tickets to Universal Studios. And this isn't a one and done. Five winners will get to go to Universal Studios and bring somebody with them. To enter the contest, you do three things. One, buy something off of the G2A.com website. G2A offers video games, software, gift cards, and more. Step two, register your purchase with your order number. You'll answer a short questionnaire and your order number is your entry number, which means if you buy multiple things, you can have multiple entries. And three, wait to see if you win. So if you've been looking for a new game, new software, or a gift card for a friend, take this as your sign from the gods to go to g2a.com, get what you need, and enter a contest for a free trip to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Okay, back to the other stuff. All right, so we have on the docket today Hogwarts Legacy official launch trailer, which came out a couple days ago. And then uh, there is a cinematic that I think came out a couple weeks ago. Then we're gonna tour a couple common rooms. See how that is. In light of your unique situation, joining Why is it unique? Oh, right. We've right, devised right, 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 something right. extraordinary to ensure your success. Okay. Oh, I'm so to absorb on your first day. Can't believe I'm here. Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you professor instruction Weasley. outside of the ordinary curriculum. Oh. You have much to learn. You have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Let me a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. They will test your abilities both innate and learned. You've done it! I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. What do they want with a Hogwarts student? I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. Oh! Cool! It's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. This is a cool story. The path <laughs> we're on is terribly dangerous. <sighs> but I do not know where it leads. Run! Be friends! I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Ah. Let's even her out, shall we? Ah. We leave our legacy in your hands. Ooh! Oh, that's so fun. I feel like my laziness makes me want to just watch that movie. Like, I don't need to play it. Like, just give me the story. Maybe I'll feel differently once I start playing more things. That just seems so cool, spending more time outside of Hogwarts, seeing what the world is like. I assume that the writers of this game have had to kind of change some things within the Wizarding World to make things make more sense. Or maybe we just like suspend our disbelief, it doesn't make sense, and we don't care. And look, like, that's fine too. Okay, next we are going to watch Hogwarts Legacy official cinematic trailer. Take this. Find them. Find who? Wow, that's a very large owl. 
Am I crazy or how how big are owls? That's very that's a very find them. Large owl, right? How big are owls? Imagine you accidentally catch your wings on fire. Nick! Professor Weasley, we don't know what magic caused this. Caused what? Wait a minute. Didn't Hagrid introduce spiders to the forest? Didn't he bring Aragog and then find Aragog a girlfriend? Or did the girlfriend already live in the forest? Looks like it's time for a reread! Oh, the Kadabra! Surely the owl's not looking for the dragon. Me? Are you looking for me? Oh. Your legacy begins. <laughs> that was cool. I really like that. Legacy, <laughs> live the unwritten. I really like that. That was very fun. So because I didn't do this off the top, if you did not already know, I am a self-published author and these are my books. I actually wrote Magic Required for the grown-up Harry Potter fan. I was kind of sick of reading about teenagers saving the world, even though when I was a teenager, I, like, I thought I was really important and that I was going to save the world, but... Whatever, I'm old now. So <laughs> I like reading about people who are not 16. <laughs> Magic Required follows a Celtic demigod trying to seek a redemption he is not sure he deserves. My second novel, Dominion Required, picks up about six weeks after Magic Required leaves off. And my third book, Bloodkin Curses, predominantly takes place at a school for lumen kind, those with a little bit more than the average human, and follows the story of a newly turned vampire discovering a world she never knew existed while trying to avoid an ancient curse. My main character of Dominion required and magic required Lachlan is a character in Bloodkin and Curses but I do recommend reading them in the publication order. That said if Bloodkin and Curses sounds more your speed go for it. <laughs> okay back to our common rooms. Hufflepuff common room let's go. Look at the natural light. Are we in a basement though? There are no windows. Oh, look at the reading nook. Do I get to see what my room looks like? Oh, this is how we get to the Hufflepuff common room. That's a cool jacket with a badger on the back. Cloak, I should say. Oh, this is so nice. Hello, Fat Fryer. Oh, I love it. I love it. Of course, okay, we'll go, yeah, we'll go Ravenclaw next. Why do they get to be upstairs? Very regal, snooty, just like the Ravenclaws. <laughs> this is very nice. I'm jealous of the upstairs lights. What came first, the phoenix or the flame? Ask the ask a question, or there's no learning. That's really nice. I don't know if I like it better than the Hufflepuff common room, but the natural lightness of it, I do. Wow. Okay, I'm jealous. Oh, right, because it's at the top of North Tower? But you gotta climb all those stairs to get there. Probably got strong legs anyways. Oh, that's so cool! Alright, Gryffindor, what do you got? 
We spent a lot of time here in the book, so I feel like I kind of know what I'm going to get. Again, like, jealous of the natural light. Oh, I have, like, chills just from, like, the nostalgia. Ugh. I definitely did not imagine, um, like, this second level. I definitely thought it was more compact, cozier. Okay, last but not least, the Slytherins. Can you imagine everything's green because you're under the lake? That's not nice. Reading these people to be mean, not giving them any sunlight. <laughs> oh, is that water in the common room? That must sound nice. Huh. Okay, I want to look at Hufflepuffs again just because, like, I want to know how jealous I am of Ravenclaws. Yeah, purely from the brightness standpoint, I'm a little jealous of Ravenclaw, but I do feel like that spot, that there, right here, is where I would sit and read and listen to my audiobooks and, and do my homework and all the green. That I really like, but I do really like the natural light in the Ravenclaw room. <laughs> Please let me know which common room is yours but which one you like the best. That's what I want to know because Hufflepuff is mine, but I think I don't like Ravenclaw the best. I like, I like the natural light in Ravenclaw more, but like the homey feel of the Hufflepuff. And I want to know what house you're in and which common room you like the best. Is it what you pictured when you were reading the books? Have you played this game? How is it? Should I give it a try? And please remember to check out G2A.com and enter their contest to win a trip to Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida and visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope you guys are all happy and healthy, taking care of yourselves and each other, being friends instead. And as always, until next time, may the force be with you. Live long and prosper. And I'll be back.